Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome to Lapis Roguelike. I guess that's the short name for it, but it's actually called Dark Dungeon Survival Lapis Fake Card Roguelike, something like that. We're gonna be trying this out and seeing how it is. So yeah, it is another card roguelike game, but it's on mobile. Dark style looks interesting, to say the least. This guy is the only one who looks weird. Everybody else looks cool. <laughs> no, I actually have to click just to keep going. Defeat the enemy to win the victory. So there's my HP. Alright, noted. So I got a stab card. At the end of turn, you will automatically add some cards from your deck. Okay, so that's my limited cards I can have in my hand. I like our character's face. <laughs> in a turn. So we're just going to literally go back and forth doing this. Alright. That's basically how both card roguelites go. Oh, so now I gotta fight the leader. Nah, he looks like a savage. Some cards need energy and are usually it's powerful. Alright, so more powerful cards need that mini energy. So I can just discard that. Load it. The next turn, I restore energy. So it doesn't really matter. You know, it should auto discard, if anything. That's just how I feel about that. There are some cards that give me energy. Oh, damn. <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Oh, so this is the challenge. Oh, my God. Here's the status of... Oh, your bar. Allows passives. Okay, hold up. For every three strikes, you deal damage in one turn. Gain a stab card and heal two HP. Overhaul will convert to armor. Oh, overhealing will convert to armor. I don't know why I thought that was haul. I can see the enemy stats. For every five times you deal damage in one turn, add a wind blade. Oh, Windblade sounds dangerous. I don't think I want that. <laughs> you just basically gave me a good luck. Alright, game. Let's see how it is. Cool. Ow. 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 Okay, cool. Thanks, dude. <laughs> really appreciate that one. So I can gain power. So will that convert us to next turn? Yeah, it does convert over to the next turn. Sweet. Ow. Ow. I was so close. No, not like this. Defeat it. Now, I don't think you were actually supposed to win that because he started doing like way more damage next turn. Yeah, follow the light. 
Okay, so now we're in an actual game instead of the prologue, huh? Okay, so this area is explored. I'm supposed to go to this. What's this special thing? Oh. That just opens up something else. Ah, so it's a single player game. That you could just save and um, exit. Noted. Noted, 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 noted. I can also look at my deck and see what I can and can't use, I guess. Oh, so I can see my monster gallery too. Does the monster gallery actually show what cards the monsters carry? That's the real question. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, I get how this is going to work. If I don't kill them all in one turn, they'll come back to life. I I've played way too much Slate Aspire to know what happens after that. Okay, so we got skeletons. Now they don't give us the cards they have, but they do give us the status of them. These get pretty low HP and pretty low gold, but has a lot of HP apparently. That? No, it did not, but alright. <laughs> All right, so we have shops. Oh, it. Okay, that's neat. So I can't journey back once I'm already past. Okay, that's interesting. I like that. Yeah, let's enter the forest. And okay, let's open the bag. We get armor now. What's over here? Open the bag. Ah, oh, now we got the uh, power card. Sweet. Go fight ooze. Oh no, not the ooze. Oh. But you can keep hold of a card. Okay, that's nice. Your armor carries over to the next turn too. And I just realized you just got buff again. Can you, can you not? Oh, he's like the slides for Slate Aspire. The ones that, uh... Multiply at half HP. Somewhat. Do I have to choose between these two? Um. So, secret kill. Do five damage. If a target was killed, gain one energy and a copy of this card. Repeat for two times. Do damage for each stab in your hand. Meh, taking this, to be honest. What's over here? Twenty five percent chance of getting cursed. Fuck it. Something useful. Okay. Target will take equal amount of damage to target's HP. Wait. It'll be removed. Oh, so it's not like one of those cards that you use once and it just. Wow, okay. So this game has different rules. So if you use a consume card, it doesn't go to like your. Uh, it doesn't go back into your deck after the battle. It just permanently removes as soon as you use it. It's, it's sort of like an item. If anything. Okay. Oh, we got books here. A whole lot of things I like to revive so far. Alright, hold on. Let's look at the monsters. Alright, so this one has way more HP. Oh, okay. Never mind. I see. So, all the stars can go literally up there. 
The books are pretty easy. What about this guy? What's here? Oh, some corpse. Oh my god, their HP is actually pretty damn high. What the hell? Did that care of my shield from last turn? Pretty sure that carried over my shield. There is no reason to use this because I'm not injured. Oh. That's something I should have done. I should have waited. I kind of screwed myself over there. Stop giving me this card. Oh, he just disappears afterwards. Okay. Really? God damn it. <laughs> so this is one of the... Um, I was not trying to do that. But good thing it turned out to be a hill. So this is one of those monsters that leave cards inside of your deck. Which can be pretty tedious. I wish I would see the cards going into my deck. That's the thing. Not just the cards randomly being created into my deck. Only to find out later that he's making cards. Uh, let's go for combat. So I can attack and gain armor. I'm going to take that. Let's return. What's the guy for the magic? The magic boys. I can heal and draw a card. Or I could just choose to take energy. That works too. Alright. I have an idea. So that's why I didn't use it. Oh, well, there it is. <laughs> There's my idea. No, not the curse. What does the curse do? Okay, yeah, that's that's not happening. Wait, does that not... Oh, I guess it creates a copy every turn. Okay then. I thought it was gonna create the thing on the, uh let's take drawing card limit but max HP. That's how I take card limit to be honest. Oh I'll just take all of these, never mind. <laughs> Oh, I did. So what's here? Oh, we can upgrade a card. Sweet. So the real question is, can I see... I have... Oh, okay, I'm, I'm looking at these different... The secret power and that... that. I want to see what does it look like upgraded. So it doesn't give us like a sneak peek of what it looks like upgraded? Well then that's... That sucks. <laughs> okay, so now it's upgraded to... 7 attack and 5 armor. 
Okay, so, yeah, I'll, I'll keep my opinion for the end. Because I have a little bit of questioning there. Is this a rare card? Yep, that's a rare card. Nice, nice, nice. Candlestick. Aha, uh -huh, now you bleed for me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> God damn. Okay. If there is a reason to carry a lot more heals, Jesus Christ. I did not expect me to take that much damage. Noted. Dude, I don't want to fight any more candle people, so I'm going to be honest with you. For each card I played this turn, okay. So 10 health was gained back. Oh yeah, does not stack to 6. Okay, no. It's not like the other one. Jesus Christ, because that was actually pretty damn bad, taking that much damage. Ah, okay, I was definitely thinking of the wrong card. I had, probably had secret power in my hand, thinking it would create a different card. So does... I was about to say, does that keep just stacking up every turn? Or do they keep refreshing it every turn? If they keep refreshing it every turn, that is broken as hell. Follow the light. No, no, go here. What does this got? No. Um, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat that, but sure, why not? Okay, so that's basically just half in somebody's HP. Did you not? So this, yeah, that pass appeals me. Okay, interesting. Let's do that. Okay, what am I doing? There we go. Turn order. I don't believe in it, apparently. And now I get extra energy. Okay, so now we got leveled up versions. And now we got a draw two. What was that draw two? No, that was draw three. Oh okay, god, more candles. Yeah, damn. <laughs> that damage, though. Finish him off. We don't need to be taking more fire damage. I was kind of wondering if you could change the character. So, clicking on this guy 
causes a failure for uh, whatever the hell that's supposed to be. <laughs> they should look into that for sure. Oh, I got an ad. It was the shittiest ad I've, I've ever seen in my life, to be honest. That's all you need to know. Move forward. So this is the Guardian, huh? We got this. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. He says with confidence. <laughs> yeah, I totally have confidence. That I can beat this guy. Oh, well, never mind. Confidence has disappeared. <laughs> Thank you for my armor bag. Ow. Ow. Holy crap, dude. Just let my armor stay. I don't even remember getting that card before. Okay, yeah, I'm dead. No way in hell I'm surviving this. guy's doing way too much damn damage. Yeah, I, I knew I wasn't surviving that. That is way too much damage he's doing. I don't have no revive scrolls. Screw that. Alright, so what the hell is this thing? So I learned a new, well, I have a new card out there, which is called Quick Jab. Deals four damage. If this is, oh, if this is the first card you played through this turn, draw. So now you can just start up and you have other characters you can play as. Uh, the last one costs money. The rest of them can be earned just from playing. I mean, at least you can earn the other four. And it's just not like full on pricing for the rest of them. Alright, so far what can I say about the game? Pretty nice so far. It's actually pretty damn decent. I like it. Um, if you guys enjoy roguelike games or, you know, Slate Aspire type of games. Where you use cards as battling or skills, attacks, heals, and stuff like that. Definitely a game to try out, for sure. I can definitely recommend it from just playing it in that 20 minute session. Uh, one thing I would love to see is bosses indicating of cards that are being put into your deck. Because just having cards appear in your deck wouldn't find like, the ooze people or... Now, I think it was the quartz people who gave you the HP or poison type of situation. Just having those appear up in your deck is kind of annoying. I want to see how many of them appear into my deck. I don't care if it pops up on the screen of how many join my deck or if it pops over my little deck on the right corner of them just appearing or going into my deck. Because that can actually be pretty annoying. Um... There's a lot more that could probably be to this game. I'm just not sure. But I'm just here to show you guys gameplay. And you guys will figure that out later. As I will. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace out.